Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's Sammy here and welcome back to a brand new video where today I'm going to be showing you guys my 85 prisoner setup. Now this layout actually took me one hour and a half to build and it costed me around $250,000. So yeah, this build is very, very nice and I hope you guys like it. Now before we get into the video guys make sure you guys smash like and subscribe so you never miss another brand new video on these channels. Let's see if we can hit 50 likes on this video and without further ado let's get straight into it. So let me take you on a nice little drive to my prison in the limo. So here it is around the corner let me just pull up right here. Okay so here we have the parking lot where I simply park my limos and where the police actually park their cars outside. Now obviously they're not actually parking their cars guys but it is a very very nice driveway parking lot and over to the left you actually have all these SWAT vehicles just lined up nicely for emergency response now if we go ahead and take our first looks at the prison you can see that it's very open plan on the inside and the glass obviously makes it a lot brighter bringing lots of natural light so let's go ahead and take a wander into the prison so as soon as you walk in there's two metal detectors a guard at reception and some vending machines just in case you ever want to buy something and let's go first off explore the cell area so here we have a two-story type cell building and the cells are actually very nice. They have a bunk bed for two prisoners, a toilet and a phone and that is for every single one. They have a nice tile flooring as well and yeah it looks very very nice. There are some more phones on the outside just in case you need to make a few more calls and there are a bunch of sofas and eating tables to enjoy yourself over here. So there is a multi-floor to this so let's go ahead and go up to the next floor you can either go up on the left or on the right so let's go ahead and go up the right and here we have some more tiles and in this corner we have a nice little cell that's actually conjoined together so these three cells are all together and this one is like a corner bunk it's a little bit more separated i'd say than this one but yeah it is very nice Okay, and we have that all around the same type of prison layout with the phones and everything but let's go ahead and make our way into the shower block now let's quickly just admire the view that you can see all your prisoners right here okay let's go inside the shower block now so we walk in we have quite a lot of light in here as well i'm not gonna lie and we have enough showers for every single prisoner so this is very very cool and i put a nice tile flooring on it as well a dark tile and yeah the prisoners love this spot because they obviously go here to shower and yeah that is the shower block guys now obviously you're not going to be able to see out of it because you know that's quite weird but let's go ahead and make our way into the cafeteria now or we should probably check out the guards room on the left okay so here we have the guards room it's a little bit darker someone forgot to turn on the light but we have a pool table we have a bunch of guards desk for them to read books and up here we have some more and prisoners are actually in here which isn't good but here is some more of the guards room now this is separated from the prisoner area but you can just jump it and we have some pool tables, we have a sofa, and you can look out into the front as well. And we have some more lockers here, just in case you need to deposit something. Now let's go ahead and make our way into the cafeteria, which is just through here. So underneath here, we have a nice open walkway so you can walk through. And there are a bunch of tables for you to sit down. And we go over here, we have some more tile, and we have eight buffets and eight chefs ready to actually make you food. And... If we go ahead and go to here, we actually have a vending machine and we have an upstairs as well where there are more tables for people to sit on just in case they feel a little bit, you know, annoyed and crowded downstairs. And over here, we obviously have some more vending machines with a little bit of mess underneath them. But in front of these tables here, we have two sets of toilets. Then we walk in, we have showers, we have two sinks and a toilet area. Just so, you know, if you, if you ever need a quick, you know, you can you can go do it in the toilet whilst you're eating well not whilst you're eating after you ate of course hopefully and you can actually look into the cell block from here and you can look into the guards type of pool area and you can see prisoners and stuff walk upstairs okay now we're going to go ahead and make our way back over to the sports area so if you go ahead and walk out the back of the prison you can see that we have a bunch of sports equipment right here and we have a bunch of bench presses and we actually have our shower block above us so this bit is kind of inside and it's a lot cooler it's definitely better to be in here on a rainy day and you have some decoration you know to just keep the outside feel alive in here and if we walk out here we have some more workout machines bench presses treadmills and bleachers and everything and you have an open walkway over here to go just sit down and enjoy whatever you want to enjoy let's take a look at the actual structure of the prison now so here you can see this is what the bottom floor looks like and obviously you do the walk-in and you got the cells, the cafeteria, the 
and everything is quite like looping around itself and if you go upstairs we have all of this now the upstairs is definitely a lot more sectioned off but it's still nice regardless and i like it very very much now this took me like an hour and a half to build and two hundred fifty thousand dollars now i do have the earning boost game pass so with 85 prisoners i actually get one thousand two hundred and eighty dollars or something like that but yeah it's very very good for money so i make over sixty thousand dollars per hour which is absolutely great but anyway guys that was it for this video if you enjoyed please remember to smash like down below so you can hit 50 likes on this video and remember to subscribe with the notification bell turn on so you never miss any of a brand new video on the channel remember to check out my starter guide if you're struggling and looking for ways to make money and uh yeah peace out guys catch you all in the next one goodbye